Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got Nike Covert uh, irons, BRS Covert, hitting up against the TaylorMade Rocket Blades irons. Two seven irons, we're gonna give these a hit. We've got GC2 on the floor here, so we're gonna give you some numbers with some real balls later in the video as well. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Nike VRS Covert Irons hitting up against TaylorMade Rocket Blades Irons. Both of the soles on these two clubs are almost identical in thickness. Top lines again, very, very, very similar. Not much in these two really at all. Um, if anything, the Covert looks maybe a fraction smaller, but there's hardly anything in it. Um, very similar clubs in their length. They're both longer clubs because they're built for power and they're both slightly stronger in their loss. So we're going to give these two irons a hit and see if there's any difference in the feel. Um, we're going to start by hitting a few with the range balls. Uh, here we go. We're going to start with Covert to kick us off. Putting it down by the ball, a little bit of offset. Relatively nice look at the ball for such a game improvement iron. You've got to remember these have both got quite a good amount of weight. Certainly Covert heel and toe for that kind of uh, user-friendly strike. Let's give it a hit and see how it feels. I mean, the thing that happens with both of these irons and covert, same, that flight is medium to quite high. That's gone up in the air. It feels very, very solid off the face. It makes a really big noise off the face as well. You know, it's quite a big explosion off the face. It does feel like really solid. I'm, I'm sure they tune up the noise to make it feel that way, to make you feel like you're getting that more distance. Let's give it another hit. Definitely quite a high flight on that one. I mean, I do like this iron. I can see lots of people really benefiting from the user friendliness of it. I really can. Um, I'm going to give it one more hit and then we'll compare it up to Rocket Blades. But I mean, this iron does everything you'd expect it to do. It's powerful, launches quite high, and if you're not hitting the sweet spot, it is actually going to help you maybe more than some other irons out there. Let's give it one more hit. I caught that one slightly near the toe, but it's an impressive flight still off that one. So Nike VRS, it's great for a little bit of help off the face. It feels strong off the face, and it makes that quite loud ting as well, which you'd expect this kind of iron to do. So let's compare it up then to Rocket Blades. So Rocket Blades down by the ball. Like I say, I mean, apart from colorways, it's so similar to Covert. A um, little bit of offset, but not too much. You know, both of these clubs do, even though they're, I mean, the Nike's definitely a bit more space age on the back, um, but they do offer semi-traditional looks down by the ball. They're not the most clumbersome of heads. So let's give Rocket Blades a hit and see how it feels in relationship to covert uh, irons. I mean, that flight looks a little lower, but it's not much in it. It feels almost identical off the face. You know, I just, I think if you blindfolded me and tested me with these, I just don't think you'd notice any difference. You really wouldn't. They're so similar in what they're trying to do. Let's give it another hit. Caught that one slightly near the bottom, so it's a slightly lower launch, but it's still flying okay. Okay, one more with a rocket blade. Like I say, not much in these two. They are so similar. If you want help, you want launch, but not too much launch. You've got to remember, these clubs along with um, stronger lofts, the stronger lofts will help keep that launch not too high. Um, I've seen higher launching irons. I do worry about the length of both of these. You know, how many of you can actually handle the length of these, but that's where you've got to go and get fit and try them, see if they actually will suit you. It is a similar sound. I would say Rocket Blade is slightly louder, but I mean, the flights on those balls are almost identical. So look, between the two for me, there's not much in it. What we're gonna do, we got GC2 HMT here, which is gonna give us some data. We've got a few real balls. So we're gonna hit a few shots, uh, each with the real balls, and then we're just gonna look at the data. So let's check that out. Right guys, let's look at the data then. This is the real ball data from these two seven irons. And what we're gonna notice with both of them, we've got Rocket Blades going, carrying 161 yards, and then you've got Nike Covert carrying 159. They're longer seven irons for me. My seven iron would average around 150 to 155 with a real ball, certainly 
in these kind of conditions but it, that's that's where my real so that's about a club further than me which is what i'd expect with these because of the stronger lofts and the longer lengths now if we look at the numbers on the both launching so launch angle with rocket blades 20 degrees 19.8 with covert exactly the same ball speed 114 with rocket blades 115 with covert one mile an hour nothing exactly the same so is that everything i'd imagine side total on both of them was uh similar exactly the same um if we look at backspin five six with a rocket blade six three so the the covert spun a little bit more and it does feel like that the covert does feel like it goes a little bit higher possibly spinning up a fraction more um which for some people is going to be good the majority of people who want this club that's not a bad thing um peaking height though is quite interesting they peak height the same height 33 uh, yards in the in the air um and then again if you look at the carries that literally that two yard extra carry on the rocket blade is coming possibly more from strike than anything else for all intents and purposes the two numbers with real balls because some people have said is it the spongy balls we use that make them come out the same they are performing very much the same the covert for me looks like it goes a little bit higher even though the top isn't a little higher it does spin up a little bit more on these three shots but again the more you do these tests subject to where you hit it on the face those numbers will change around a bit if look if you're looking for a club for distance you're looking for a club which is going to help you heel toe weighted those kind of things both of these clubs are going to do that arguably i would say the covert might help you push it a fraction more up in the air but it's it's marginal it's it's minute so let me know guys post comments down below Are you a nike guy tailor made guy what do you think both of these irons are obviously jacked up for a cause um is that something you love or you hate or it doesn't really matter you don't care what's written on the bottom you just want to know how far each stick in your bag goes post comments thanks for watching and we'll speak to you all soon so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.